good afternoon, good evening. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are fine. I hope you guys are okay. So today we are going to talk about another tool for patch management. The tool name is Vicarious. Okay, Vicarious is a Israeli company and they have a very, very nice tool. Uh, well, how can we try this tool? Uh, first, just get have to enter the link, the website link, sign up, and then the first name, last name, and work email. Cipher, I don't have a corporate mail, I don't have a work email, so what can I do? So, um, let me give you an advice two things. First option, you buy a domain name, as I did, okay cyphersec.site or the second option is you use square x square x is so nice look this two i discovered this two few days actually uh, a month ago uh, yeah a month ago i discovered this too uh, at first i saw it and i said all right it's another just another tool to surf on the internet and do my stuff but no, it's not just that. I'm not going to talk about disposable browser. I'm going to talk about disposable email. Uh, well, there is some options for temporary emails on the internet, right? What is the difference in between those options and Square X? Square X, you just delete. Uh, actually, Square X don't delete the emails you receive on your email address you're just going to delete your emails if you regenerate and create a new email it's not like a 10 minutes email you can keep it for days or months okay and it's totally free i mean when when well i have uh, when the service is for free, we are the products, okay? So Square X is testing this. They have a pro version also, but they have the free version. And these guys are amazing, okay? Why? There's two things. I can change the email, okay? And I can choose the domains in between one of these. And I'm going to change it right now. And I'm going to start receiving email here. And I can regenerate it in a few days. And, or go to my inbox. And just refresh the inbox. And then I'm going to see all the emails I received there. Okay. So. It's not, uh, it's not about Square X. But Vicarious. After you receive the email confirming your subscription for trial version you are going to receive a link that's going to direct you to this dashboard okay here we have apps assets operating systems apps risk map okay here we have the apps which one has high risk medium risk or low risk okay assets again and then the cve trends like today yesterday last seven days uh, last month, last six months, and all the time, and here I can take like from where to where. Uh, also, available updates based on operating system or apps, and then CVE threats like 59. Five of them are critical, but we are going to see this in the next video. First, we have to add a asset into our dashboard okay uh, i have some experience with vicarious as i do have a lot of experience using patch manager plus as double source all right windows server update system something like that uh well on this dashboard we have software we have asset option vulnerability discovery uh, vulnerability remediation, automation, logs and alerts, reports, settings, and support links. 
okay? Here we have like CVEs events, active CVEs on our computers or servers. Here we have some zero days option, what we have of zero days in our, our infra infrastructure, network scans, and then vulnerability remediation, we have patch management or scripts. Uh, on software, we have apps like the third part apps or applications like Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Reader uh, or antiviruses or Microsoft Office or any other third party company software. And then we have the operating system. Uh, here we have the logs and alerts, activity log, event log, upcoming, and then the reports you can choose. But we are going to see this in the other video also. Now, the first thing we have to do is add an asset into our infrastructure. So I have this server that's located on Azure. It's just a temporary server. Okay. Uh, the other one is on a virtual machine. It's a local virtual machine. So how can we add a new server into our dashboard? It's very easy, very simple. Add a new asset. And then here we have the Windows assets using PowerShell command line. I'm going to copy because we are going to use it. And then we have CMD. First, we have to download VRX. Dot exe and execute it on the folder all right then we have the linux assets on uh, one liner bash here we just can use double get and then bash okay the same thing as as windows but not exe but sh and then we have the mac os assets now since I already have installed um, Vicarious on my server, and I'm going to show you guys, okay, run as administrator. I already installed it on my server, so it's not going to work, okay? It's going to give a message like the agent is already running, something like that. I'm going to press enter, and then write in the request stream. And here we are. Service is already running. Uh, well, the IP address of my this server is 172.210.162.52. And if we go to our assets, we can see here there's two IP addresses, an internal option and the external IP address. It's the same as the browser, uh, as the RDP in Remina. Okay, so we can manage everything from here, like Windows Server 2019. We can see app risk level, we have low level, medium level, high risk. And then we have critical, the IP address, external, from where to where. Okay, we can see the full view using the link and then it's going to send us to a new window. Close it. And here we have all the information we need, like apps on the server. We could explore. Let me see. And here, uh, patch management and he, this the first one is this one okay dot that framework for the eight and low risk uh no patch no problem go to x protect let's see here yeah but we are not going to talk about it today uh this was an introduction about vicarious patch management i hope you guys liked it and if you like, just give me your like, give me a like, uh, share for friends. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel to help me to have my channel grow up a little bit more. And well, that's it. See you guys in the next video.